Welcome to our chemistry presentation. Welcome to our presentation. pH and pH scale. Members of presentation. Aditya Aranjan, Niman Kedia, Niwesh Diya, Shubham Chaudhary, Vikram Kumar, Ayush Gupta. In our presentation, we are going to learn about a few topics like introduction to pH, what is pH, why do we need to use pH, how to calculate pH, application of pH, what is pH scale, how to use pH scale, who designed pH and the pH scale and why, and lastly, uses of pH in everyday life. Introduction to pH pH is also called as universal indicator because it is made up of solution of several compounds that exhibit several smooth color changes over a wide range pH value to indicate the acidity or alkalinity of solution. It was introduced in 1909 at Kalsberg Laboratory. What is pH? In chemistry, pH denotes potential of hydrogen or power of hydrogen is a scale used to specify the acidity or basicity of an aqueous solution or simply we can say that the concentration of H plus ion in an aqueous solution. Why we need to use pH? The pH can control the availability of nutrients, biological function, microbial activity, and the behavior of chemicals. pH is really a measure of the relative amount of hydrogen and the hydroxyl ion in a water. Water that has more free hydrogen ion is acid whereas water that has more hydroxyl ion is basic. Since pH can be affected by chemicals in the water, pH is an important indicator of water that is changing chemically. How to calculate pH? pH is the negative base 10 logarithm log function on a calculator of the hydrogen ion concentration of a solution. The hydrogen ions are not stable and they tend to combine with water molecules to form hydronium ions which has the formula H3O+. To calculate pH, take the log of a given hydrogen ion concentration and reverse the sign. So overall we can say that the expression for calculating pH is pH equal negative log base 10 of hydronium ion concentration. Now let us see some examples. So here is our first question. What is the pH of a solution if the H plus ion concentration is 1 times 10 to the power 5 molar. Now, at the first step, we write the formula, which is pH equals negative log of H plus ion concentration. Remember, the H plus ion concentration is measured in molar. We write the value of the H plus ion concentration, which is here 1 times 10 to the power negative 5. Now, what this step is telling us is that how much power of 10 is equals to 10 to the power negative 5? It's obvious, it's negative 5. Now, we have the answer as pH equals negative of negative 5. And we know negative times negative is positive. So our pH is equals to 5. Now, let us see another question. So, here it is. What is the pH of a solution if the H plus ion concentration is 1.4 times 10 to the power negative 5 molar? You will notice that the pH of the solution will be in the range of 5. As usual, first write the formula, which is pH equals negative log of H plus ion concentration. At the second step, we put in the values. Here, it is pH equals negative log of 1.4 times 10 to the power negative 5. To find the log of 1.4 times 10 to the power negative 5, we have to use a calculator and particularly the log function will help. And we get the answer as 4.85.
application of ph enhancing solubility increasing stability improving purity optimizing biological activity comforting the body storage of products what is ph scale a ph scale is simply a scale which helps us to determine the amount of hydronium or hydroxide in a solution in other words it tells us how basic or acidic the solution is a lower ph means something is more acidic also known as a stronger acid a higher ph means it is more alkaline or a stronger base picture below you can see a ph scale which a typical range of 0 to 4 how to use ph scale the ph paper changes color in different ph solution is because of the chemical flamenders Molecules which is anthocyanin is soluble in water and changes color in the presence of various type of solutions. The pH paper is coated with the chemicals give the property of changing color at different pH solutions. In the presence of an acidic solution it turns red. In the presence of, of a basic solution it changes its color into purple blue and in the presence of neutral solution it changes its color to light green color. As you can see clearly at the right side in the picture. pH determination The pH of a solution is defined as the negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion concentration in gram mole per liter. It helps us to point out whether the given substance is acidic or alkaline or neutral. The pH is measured on a scale of 0 to 40. The pH of neutral solution is 7. Acidic solution is less than 7. And the alkaline solution is greater than 7. The pH value of a solution can be determined by using pH paper or universal indicator solution that have a broad range of indicators exhibiting several smooth color changes over a very wide range of pH values. Our aim here is to find the pH of given samples using pH paper and universal indicator solution. For this, materials required are Solution of sodium bicarbonate 0.1 molar HCO Common salt solution pH paper Universal indicator solution Tile and dropper Procedure Take a strip of pH paper and place on the tile. Take a drop of common salt solution from the beaker using a dropper and pour it over the pH paper placed on the tile. Now observe the color produced and compare it with the different color shades of standard color pH chart and note down the pH value. Using a fresh dropper, take one drop of universal indicator solution and add into the common salt solution taken in the beaker. Observe the color produced and compare it with different color shades indicator given on the universal indicator bottle and again find out the pH value of the solution. You can observe that in both the test of pH value of common salt is 7. Repeat the same step for finding the pH value of sodium bicarbonate solution and one molar HCl using fresh strip of pH paper, universal indicator and separate fine dropper for every sample. Through these methods, we can determine the pH value of 0.1 molar HCl and pH value of sodium bicarbonate. The pH value of 0.1 molar HCl is 1 and that of sodium bicarbonate is 9.
we must take some precautions before doing this experiment. If we are using the same dropper for the test of samples, we must ensure that it has been properly washed with water after every test. Make sure that the pH strip was kept away from the chemicals. Who designed pH and a pH scale and why? Nearly 110 years ago, while running experiment with beer at the world's renowned Carlsberg Research Lab in Copenhagen, Danish chemist Soren Peter Lorenz Sorensen developed the simple yet enduring pH scale. pH scale was developed in order to check whether an aqua solution is acidic, basic or neutral. It contains various readings in order to check whether an aqueous solution it is a mild acidic or basic or strong acidic or basic. Uses of pH in everyday life pH in our digestive system Our stomach produces hydrochloric acid. This dilute hydrochloric acid helps in digesting our food without harming the stomach. Sometimes excess of acid is produced in the stomach. The excess acid in the stomach causes indigestion which produces pain and irritation. In order to cure indigestion, we can take bases called antacids. Being basic in nature, they react with the excess acid in the stomach and neutralizes it. Two common antacids are milk of magnesia or magnesium hydroxide or sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. pH can cause tooth decay. We know that our tooth is made up of calcium phosphate, generally called calcium hydroxyapatite, whose chemical formula is C18 PO4 hold 6 OH hold twice, which is slightly basic in nature. But when we eat food containing sugar, then the bacteria present in our mouth breaks down the sugar and forms acids. This acid lowers the pH in the mouth. Tooth decay starts when the pH of acids formed in the mouth falls below 5.5. This is because then the acid becomes strong enough to attack the enamel of our teeth and corrode it and this sets into decay. Precautions before and after taking food Before taking water approx 45 minutes before taking food and do not take water during eating as it will make the HCl molecule dilute and cause to indigestion. Clean your mouth or rinse your mouth before eating your food and must take care of hygiene at the time of eating. After always rinse your teeth after having meal this will reduce the effect of acid and also take out the food particles that get trapped between teeth always brush your teeth twice a day meal in the morning and before going to sleep in order to reduce the effect of acid plants and animals are sensitive to ph most of the plants grow best when the pH of soil is close to 7. If the soil is too acidic or basic, the plants grow badly or do not grow at all. The soil pH is also affected by the use of chemical fertilizers in the field. Chemicals can be added to soil to adjust its pH and make it suitable for growing plants. If the soil is too acidic, then it is treated with materials like quicklime or slaked lime. If the soil is too alkaline, then alkalinity can be reduced by adding decaying organic matter. Self-defense by plant and animal through chemical warfare Many animals and plants protect themselves from enemies by injecting painful and irritating acid or base into their skin. When honeybees sting a person, it injects an acidic liquid into the skin. Rubbing with mild base like baking soda solution on the stung area of the skin gives relief. When a wasp stings, it injects an alkaline liquid into the skin. Then rubbing with a mild acid like vinegar on the stung area of the skin gives relief. 
थैंक यू फ्रॉम नमन एंड टीम फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस